the divas what's up divas what's up divas what's up everybody what's up happy wednesday welcome back girl it is early when i tell y'all it is early i'm so proud of myself it is 8 43 in the a.m monday morning i'm so proud of myself like seriously because normally i don't sit in this chair to do real talk until like 11 o'clock but i'm so proud of myself like i got up early oh well i get up early every day because i have to bring the kids to school but you know i went in there i did what i normally do okay i don't know how i gained so much time normally i will okay so i will hit the snooze button each day all right so i didn't do that today so uh, because i had to get up and actually bring mumsy to school normally her friend brings her to school because they go to the same school now mind you the school is in where i live at okay but she has to be there at 7 20 so i brought her at seven o'clock you know she's in stugo student government i think that's what it's called the club so she has to be early. She likes to be early. She likes to do her little stugo things. And so, you know, normally I just bring Tinky and Tato, but because Mumsy's friend wasn't able to bring her this morning, I don't think she was going to school or whatever. I brought her. Then I came home and I just finished doing what I had to do. You know, my hair was already brushed and I didn't have any makeup on or anything like that. So I did come home and I did do that. And I still had time. So here I am. Here I am. Even though I don't even, I, I didn't bring the kids to school today. Not, not Tinky and Tato. I didn't because my car is in the shop. I used my daughter Nay's car to bring Mumsy and Tati took Tinky and Tato in her car. But yeah, my car has been in the shop since Thursday evening, Friday, excuse me, Friday morning. And, um, you know, last week I paid for a new condenser for my car because two weeks, a week prior to last week, I had paid for my AC to be recharged. You know, that was $240, I think. And then I also needed an oil change and I also paid for AC maintenance. Okay. So it all came to $460. So like within like, I want to say like two days after two, three days, I want to say like three days it might have been like five i think it was like about five days after i had paid for that i get in the car one day and it's just like blowing hot ass air like when i tell you hot air it was hot ass air okay it felt like somebody put their blow dryer and just kept blowing it on me so no air was no cool air was coming out so i had to bring it back in the very next morning lo and behold it was my condenser okay so the condenser is like the blow motor it's what blows out the air hot or cold right so after the labor charges and the parts, it was $693. So, you know, I paid it. I paid it because, like, I'm not about to be driving around out here when it's 115, 120 degree weather with no AC. I don't know how people do it, but I'm not about to, okay? I'm too old for that. I just got over getting hot flashes. Like, I don't get them every, every few minutes anymore. I probably get them, like, maybe every few weeks, one every few weeks, if that. So I got over all of that. I'm not about to be sitting in no hot-ass car girl i paid for that okay so mind you that was like rounded off it was like 1160 dollars all together with the last the week prior and this week you please tell me why the next day after like two days after two days after getting my condenser fixed please tell me why i was blowing hot again girl this time i didn't go off because i always go to them it's either i go to mcfalls or i go to miguel miguel really don't do acs but he fixed everything else like you have an accident he's fixing it he fixed everything else with the ac his brother do the acs but i don't be having time to wait for nobody plus mcfalls is right outside of garden lakes where i live girl i bring it back in there on friday morning and um when i brought it it was it was it was so cold in my car when i was driving it there like i don't know what the hell's going on so mind you they said there's like a leak in like the ac thing whatever they have to find it and they're not open on the weekends they're not open on sunday so saturday they were supposed to get my car back they said they wanted to keep it so that way they can make sure the pressure it, look let, let me just say this because i'm not gonna go into full detail just fix my shit because 1160 dollars is not cheap okay for all that i paid and the condenser is the part but you let me tell you this when i looked at the receipt the condenser was like 260 $63 or 237 dollars something like that the, the labor was 399 dollars and 88 cents so 12 cents short of fucking 400 dollars in labor work it said to take it in to take it out to take the condenser out and put it back and put a new one in it really they're like well we stand by our work so you're not gonna pay for none of them that's going on now i damn sure ain't because if I had to, I would be bringing y'all to court, okay? But yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm not too happy about that because I would like my car back. You know, 
I take care of my car. I take very well good care of it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I pay for the AC maintenance. I just take good care of my car. Okay. It rides like it was just brand new, brand new. I take really good care of it. And I want her back at the, in her room. Like she, she have a room here in my house, which is the garage. And I want her back in it. Even though she had the garage, she inside the garage at the auto shop. I still look, I just need my car back. Cause I don't want to know. I don't, I don't like driving nobody else's cars and I just want my car. That's, that's, that's just what it is. But anyway, other than that, this weekend, you know, I didn't have no car or whatever. So I stayed home, but I stay home anyway. That's what I do. I stay home anyway. And so Saturday, um, I had got some makeup in the mail because Tati is just going crazy buying me makeup. Okay. Cause she wants me to find my perfect lip combo that I like and that, you know what I'm saying? So she's been buying me all this makeup. So Saturday we was playing around with the lippies, like trying different looks or whatever, or I was, and she was approving them and she was telling me what to use. So this is one of the, the looks that I came up with. When I tell you she, be, she was buying me mad makeup, she has bought me so much makeup and some of it still ain't even in. She bought, she bought me, um, five Anastasia lip lippies their new velvet um lip velvets she bought me five of those i didn't i didn't even know what color she chose she just came out the room like i picked out five colors for you now i gave her one of the colors because they must have put like the wrong sticker on one of them because they was identical to the other but she bought me five of these anastasia lippies okay now they're like 24 dollars a piece but she got them on sale off of their tiktok shop okay so they ended up being 15 dollars a piece she bought me a bunch of those you know week prior to that she bought me color pops um bff lip pencils she bought me some juvia's play she bought me some knit a bunch of these knits um butter glosses she's bought me a bunch of those so i got like all this makeup thanks to my daughter tati and i'm really trying to step up my game but yeah she goes on tiktok and she always goes on tiktok and buys products okay and let me tell you about that because this is let, let me tell y'all now i don't know how many of y'all be going on tiktok but i don't really go on tiktok there was a time when i would go on like every day and i would look at people's posts or whatever and i would get off because it was kind of entertaining for me but then you know i i would prefer to watch youtube i prefer to watch youtube shorts and such so i really don't go on tiktok because it's kind of like the same well i said you know what the other day friday actually friday evening i was on my phone and i don't know what made me look on tiktok Tati has sent me a video. So she has sent me a video on TikTok. You know, she had texted me a video. So I looked at it and then I just kept scrolling. And so I had seen somebody doing a live and I can't remember what it was about, but I just clicked to just read the comments, you know, say and be part of the live, but just basically read the comments. I wasn't going to comment. So I didn't find it too entertaining. So I just kept scrolling. Now, mind you, I still was on live TikTok, TikTok live. Girl. After that one person's just regular regular person's live, I swear, I kid you not, out of, I want to say I scrolled about 100 videos, out of 100 videos, 95 of them was selling stuff. The rest of them was just like regular people doing their lives. When I tell you TikTok is like a QVC, a home shopping network, HSN, QVC, TikTok is nothing but people selling shit. Like when I tell you, I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God. Like I said, I don't go on TikTok. And when I was going on TikTok, it really wasn't on live, but I have seen quite a few lives. I haven't gone on TikTok like that in like a year. I like, I only go in there if Tati sends me a video and then I get off. I'm not like a TikTok person. And I have also posted on TikTok, okay, over the past couple of months, maybe like a video or two, but I don't even go back and read the comments of the videos that I may post. So, and when I get on there and post it, I post it and I just get right off, okay? But I never really go on a live. Now, like I said, I went on a live before and it was just regular people talking or doing things. Girl, and I might see like a couple of people selling things like those. Um, I would see people selling like those little miniature resin miniature things and they would scoop them up and you would buy like a bag for a pound or whatever. I would see those every now and then. But girl, when I tell you when I was on TikTok live and all I seen was people selling shit, that shit remind me of QVC. No lie. TikTok live is like QVC. Like all you do is spend money on there. That's all you do. And now I see why my daughter Tati be getting so much stuff. There's so much stuff being sold. Like you might see, like, um, you might see, I'm going to just say this product right here sold by seven different people. Okay. Like when I, I'm like, where are they getting all of this stuff from? What, what, what am I missing out on? Like, I, I'm not like, I'm not like, listen, let me tell you, 
It was very overwhelming. And trust me when I tell you, you don't got to worry about me going back on there and buying shit. I'm not about to be on TikTok live, spending my money, spending my time, spending my day. But all I want to say is it reminds me of QVC to the utmost. Like it just looks like a whole shopping network. That's all TikTok has become. It's like a whole shopping network. Like where are the real people at that are just doing real people stuff instead of selling shit? They selling everything from jeans, earrings, purses, fanny packs, fucking coochie soap teeth whitening like all of the same shit i'm like oh i would just go and get it on amazon i don't know about i don't know about this tiktok purchasing i'm just gonna get on amazon because i know they give my money back you know what i'm saying but yeah she'd be finding my daughter talk to be finding mad shit on tiktok for cheaper than the actual website so i give her i give her that you know saying that's where it's beneficial you know what i'm saying because julia's place be having like stuff on there for like I want to say like seven dollars six dollars or something like that she said versus the actual website or any other website representing them so i was just like okay but where is she finding this stuff i just i guess she just goes to their actual pages i don't know because it's just so much stuff being sold it's very overwhelming it's very overwhelming. so anyway i do have some new favorites now mind you i never thought that i would find another perfume dupe site that i would love so much because y'all know i always represent dossier like i love their perfume their perfume is so affordable for one and i just love the cleanness of the bottles or what have you and the scents are like 99.9 .9 dead smack on to like any of the authentic originals so that's why i don't really trust any other dupe sites except for dossier but my daughter put me on to this perfume that she had purchased and she had purchased from their tiktok sale okay and she had found out about it through tiktok and they were selling on tiktok sale too which is called okja okay so she put me on to this okay and let me tell you now they have like some beautiful ass bottles i love the whole aesthetic of their bottles this has become my new favorite i like the fact that they have their bottles made like this but the actual name of the perfume is not like a sticker or anything like that it's actually made onto the bottle so this right here is secret lagoon and this is um a dupe for i can't remember i'll have to um i'll have to look it up and tell you guys but i, I really do like it i love the whole aesthetic of the bottle it's so pretty um the only thing that i don't really like um i like is the fact that when you do get your box from okja and you have the um the stock card inside it doesn't tell you what the perfume is duping of so you have to go back on the website and look it up which is no big deal but i'm so used to dossiers whole format that i love it now i mean each perfume place has their own version or their own way of doing their packaging i will say that i do like this packaging it's very very chic and it makes everything look even more expensive however the bottles are more expensive than dossier so you know what i'm saying that's just something to put out there if you are looking for another dupe this is in no way sponsored but this is one of my new favorites now i only have one of them because they don't sponsor me and i think this was like 50 dollars. their perfume i noticed be like all different prices but you know that's their setup that's their format and then also tati had got me this off of amazon um, she has another version, another scent by them, but it's by this brand called Clean Classic. Now, there's nothing special about this bottle, as you can tell. The scent of it is called Soft Laundry. I love the smell of Soft Laundry. Now, let me tell you, this is not like a dupe for anybody that this is just their brand. And this little bottle was a 40 effing dollars. Okay, now they do have like a really good smell to them if you like clean scents, okay? So that's why they're called Clean Classics. They're in these small bottles, okay? And the one thing, this is my pet peeve, okay? And maybe it's just my pet peeve and a lot of people probably doesn't bother them, but the sticker is not on super duper straight, which is like, girl, if I'm paying $40, I'm gonna need this sticker to be perfect. I'm gonna need it to look like something different versus this, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, these are like my new favorites this set is called soft laundry like i said and it's on amazon i don't really know if, where they sell it elsewhere but it's by a company called clean a brand called clean classic okay but these have become my two new favorites which i'm really loving um and you know i've, I've been working on my lippy my lip look so y'all let me know what y'all think of this lippy because y'all don't really see me in these other colors and you know what's so crazy also this morning i put on some um cream blush um, by the brand called Milk. I've had like, I have like about four of them brand new, never open because I used to be a huge fanatic, fanatic of the monthly subscriptions for makeup. So BoxyCharm, I was like a big fan of theirs. I think I did like three different subscriptions with them, premium, regular, and like the other one. But um, yeah, so 
I finally decided, let me try to up my game. And I actually really do like the way this cream blush came out. But let me tell y'all, I was gonna put on a ponytail today. Then I was like, oh no, let me let let me show them that I got some hang time here, okay? Y'all, y'all see it, okay? Y'all see that my hair has been growing back. I got some hang time, okay? Look at the girl what look at that okay so it does come to like right here now my hair which i'm so happy about i'm just like uh you know I'm, I'm using my vitamins i'm taking my vitamins and i'm also using my hair oil but i just you know what i'm saying i've been using this every other day because every day is a lot you know you can use it three to five times a day a week so i think every other day is very beneficial to me so i've been excuse me been using that i don't know if it's working it's probably you know what i'm saying i don't know girl but I sure hope it do. But I, I need to find some different vitamins because the vitamins that I've been taking, I know that they're really good. But the pills, the capsules, they you have to take two a day. And I've been taking one because it just feels like the shit gets stuck right here in my chest. And no matter how much water I drink, it just feels like it's stuck. And that's what's deterring me from drinking. I'm um, taking the pill. But anyway, other than that, you guys, you already know it's Real Talk Wednesday. This video is being sponsored by Made by Muff Accessories, Gone with the Wind Wigs .com, which is no other than your girl A, me who always come to try and slay. So today's video, excuse me, is being sponsored by me. And this week, okay, so this watch band does look a little bit big on me because these are not made for my size okay this watch band will fit a seven and a half to eight wrist all right and this is a collection of um sanrio's um hello kitty and friends okay my i'm um, my um, hello kitty and friends so this time around this is hello kitty she's on like a little tag i'm pretty sure you can't see it maybe i should take it off so you guys can and like i say all the time not all the time but it does come with the watch bands not the actual bracelets sets but the watch bands always come well not always but they will come with a complimentary matching bracelet and i'm not sure how long i'm going to be doing this but it's just a way for me to get my watch bands out there and let you guys know that i do have have watch bands for sale plus i'm gonna be making matching bracelets complimentary bracelets to go with them so this one is a hello kitty i'm um, sorry you guys really can't see it but um this is and I'll, and I'll put a picture in it this this is a hello kitty there are only four charms on this now normally i had like 10 on there but i felt like it was just too much with all of those charms on a bracelet depending on the size of the charms too so we do have those available and the matching complimentary bracelet as well but if you don't have a watch band and you still love hello kitty okay because hello kitty has been out since i was a kid actually she came out in 1974 and i was born in that year so i also have been i also make the hello kitty um stack bracelets you'll get um three hello kitty charms and two uh glamour charms like blinged out glamour charms you know what i'm saying and yeah that's that's it but i'll i'll, I'll steal a picture but yeah so made by muff accessories okay is what's the name of my website and i do have apple watch bands on there that are custom made and i also do have stack bracelets which are custom made i do have to put up my earrings up there but yes you guys and i also do have wigs available which are lace front wigs on the website as well there are some up there now but let's just jump into this real talk if you have a real talk that you would like for me to talk about go ahead and send me an email to muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com or you can send it to april's real talk at gmail.com please make sure to put in the subject line real talk so that way i know it's a real talk girl and if you want to go ahead and change the name of the people that you're talking about in the min in the email including yourself then by all means go ahead and do so and let me know so if you don't so then that's okay too but let's just jump into this real talk okay boo okay
All right, guys, I didn't realize I was talking that much. I can talk, okay? Y'all is my friend, so, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so this real talk is called Social Media Curse, okay? Well, thank you for reading my email. My name is Vicky. My friends call me Vix. So I have somewhat of an issue. I've been saying, seeing this guy for two years now. His name is Malcolm. So here is my issue. He doesn't do no type of social media. When I say no social media, he does none at all. No Facebook, no Instagram, no TikTok, no type of social media. He claims he's not into social media. It consumes people's lives and causes way too many problems. Unnecessary. Unnecessary problems, he says. I feel like he doesn't do social media because he's got something to hide. That is my take on it. But he says otherwise. I ask him over and over, why doesn't he try social media? That he could benefit from it. He could promote his business online. He says his online business doesn't require or need any social media because he's been fine with clientele for this long. He doesn't need social media. He's a real estate broker and makes really good money with what he does. He has a website and doesn't need to promote on social media. I honestly feel like he's got something to hide. Either he has social media and doesn't want me to know about it, like maybe he has a secret life of something, or he doesn't have social media, and that's because he's very secretive about his life. Like, who doesn't have social media? I can't understand not wanting to have a social media account. Now, let me not forget to tell you, he is 45 and I am 33 years old. So there is an age gap, but he's still young at heart. Do you find it strange that a person doesn't have a social media account? And what are your thoughts completely on not having it? Thank you. I hope your day is amazing like yourself, Bits. Now, listen, what did I just, what was I just saying? Like, this is, well... My whole thing wasn't about social media, though. It was just about telling y'all where my daughter Tati got these lippies that was $24 on the actual website versus $15. So I was just telling y'all about a sale and how she finds her sales. But I mean, it, it wasn't about, I mean, it was about social media, but not really. It was just like more or less TikTok has turned into a QVC. And that's why I, I, I was overwhelmed. I mean, I do go on social media and mainly listen i don't i i understand people not having their social media accounts because it is what it is my ex-husband you know he didn't have a social media account he didn't like social media he said that people don't need to know your every move people don't know what need to know what you're doing he just didn't like social media and i like i think a lot of it had to do with you know he was a felon at a time and so that's a lot of times why he didn't like to appear in like my videos or things like that because you know he had been in, incarcerated so i don't know if those um if people that have been incarcerated think like that or think differently i mean i'm pretty sure there are other people that have been incarcerated that love social media but she needs to realize that just because you don't want to be on social media doesn't mean you have anything to hide like i really don't understand people when it comes to social media like yeah i do social media but here's my thing when i first moved here i would i would i would post an outfit of the day on instagram every single day i would take a picture of what i was wearing and i would post it on instagram and you guys can look back at my instagram you don't have to look back look back like maybe like six years back because that's what i would do i would post up pictures of myself every day of what i would wear to work you know because i did work outside of the house for for a media company not a social media company a media company and um i would wear stuff different stuff every day you know so i would like to show off my outfits now some of them would be from the thrift store and i think that's a lot of the reasons why i was doing it it was because a lot of things that i was wearing i did find at my local thrift store so i would post you know every day and of course i would like to read the comments and see how many likes i received but after a while i just became over over with the whole entire social media thing so now when i do social media it really isn't to show off any type of looks that i've gotten going on or anything of that nature. It's more or less just to promote my brand and that's it. I don't find myself sitting on Facebook every day. I don't even be on Facebook. The only time I go on Facebook is when I need to promote something and then that's when I get off. I don't understand how some people will sit on Facebook all day and they'll just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I mean, if that's what you like to do, then that's your business. But I'm, I've never been like a huge fan of Facebook. It's not like, like the thing that I just rush to go do. Now, if I had to choose what social media I would want to be on, it would probably be youtube i spend a lot of more of my time on youtube i like to watch the videos you know what i'm saying i like to engage with people but mainly i like to watch the videos i like to find out about what's going on in the world about products and things like that so i don't really know if you consider social media youtube but i'm pretty sure it is it's like social media platform 
But as far as like posting up every day, like on the gram or TikTok or Twitter, you won't catch me doing that. Or on Facebook, you won't catch me doing it. I just don't find it fun. I find it to be actually really boring to sit on social media all day and be scrolling. I just really don't find it fun at all now youtube is a little bit different because you watch videos so that's the one thing that i do enjoy watching and i will watch videos on youtube as i'm doing my work editing editing a video so that way i'm being entertained like it's like watching tv but i don't feel like people that don't have social media have anything to hide it's just their lifestyle and it sucks when you're in a relationship with someone and then you start feeling that way some people be so much into social media that that's all that they rely on that's their whole bread and butter that's their entire life that's where they get all their news from instead of watching or reading current events they'll go on social media like instagram or facebook to rely on what's really going on in the world versus reading about it on the computer or in a newspaper now let me tell you like i said my ex-husband he didn't do social media and he didn't you know what i'm saying and that was fine um and that was cool too because and i but i never felt any type of way about him not being on social media he just liked his privacy and there are a lot of people like that in this world that do um appreciate their privacy but then there are some people that feel like they have to put every fucking nook and cranny on social media like if you don't post a picture of them on your there's on your social media account they feel some type of way which is ridiculous some people don't do that now there are some people that do have social media accounts but just barely rarely post anything and i'll be one of them i don't go on instagram and post shit every day and that might be my problem with getting my business out there like you know what i'm saying my braces and stuff i don't post stuff every day as i should because that would bring me in more customers but i'm just like a very private person to a certain extent like you got you guys do know i share with you i do so i really maybe i shouldn't say i'm a very private person but there are some parts of my life where i just don't feel the need to record or take pictures of because i may feel like well it's not really worthy of that for other people to see it maybe they don't care maybe they may find it boring but to me it's something yeah i got loads of videos and pictures in my phone that are sacred to me and private to me doesn't mean that i need to share them with everyone there are some things that i do share with people and then there are some things that i just don't bother sharing because it's like oh what even is the what's what's for what what does it matter if i share it or not um but there are some people who like for you to know every fucking thing that they're doing of every fucking day and i'm just not one of those people like i got too much shit to do in my life okay like straight up so some people like some people that is their life social media i'm pretty sure if i did more social media like instagram or tiktok and things of that nature i probably would be a lot more um well known as a household name as far as my website or even my youtube videos um i was at one time a very well known household name but you know new people come in on the internet onto social media which kicks other people back have i been reluctant have i been like obedient with promoting myself on social media no i don't you know what i'm saying because like i said i have a lot going on in my life i have a life you know what i'm saying i have a family to attend to and i just don't feel the need to post everything on social media so does that mean i have something to hide it doesn't mean i have anything to hide at all it's just that i just don't feel the need to do this now like i said there are some people and and maybe vix is one of those people and it sounds like she is where you feel like you need to have social media what is the real need to have social media is my question to people like what is the real need for social media before we had all of these social media accounts what were we doing every day with our lives like for real did people have hobbies did people do things to make their lives more productive did people do go out more did people were people better at communicating what what was it a lot of times social media can bring in some really negative things in your life and i've noticed that with people and there's why a lot of people just are more or less wanting to not be in the social media light. I enjoy my time spent on YouTube. I enjoy my time being able to share with you guys and to talk with you guys, but I'm not about to tell y'all everything that I do in my life. What do you guys care? Why would you want to know everything that I did in my life? That would be me wanting to know then what you do every minute of the day in your life. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to share that with me, but some people get really hell bent on, well, you know what I'm saying? You didn't post me on your Instagram or you didn't post me on your TikTok or your t or your or your twitter so i need to know or whatever it's called x now okay you didn't post me on that so i need to know what's up why aren't you posting me why aren't you sharing our pictures are you being secreted 
if you think that I'm ugly, you got something better to do. What is it? Y'all sometimes be thinking way too fucking much, like straight up. Social media be ruining some of y'all lives, some of y'all fucking relationships, and some of y'all jobs, okay? Some of y'all feel like this person is living the good life and showing because she's got Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior and Gucci in her closet and look at her picture she's posting meanwhile this person is fucking miserable and that's the only reason why they're posting pictures is to try to make themselves happy but you don't really know that because you're just living through their life vicariously through a photo you know what i'm saying i'm not about to be sitting here on nobody's social media fantasizing or living my life through anybody else's photos or videos that's one thing that i'm not going to do i appreciate people sharing their lives with us or me ever on the net but one thing i'm not going to do is allow myself to be consumed of what another person or persons are doing with their everyday life on social media or off of social media what's green on the outside may not be that green and grassy on the inside okay or whatever that fucking quote is y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about now me personally i like i said i am a semi-private person you know what i'm saying i don't feel like i need to share everything with y'all when i feel like i need to share with y'all then that's when i motherfucking share with y'all now y'all may know that i'm single y'all know that i'm single and i don't have a man but when i finally do decide to get one will y'all be um will y'all be knowing of it maybe maybe not i may tell y'all about it but will i show you the person probably not because i don't feel like everybody needs to know you may see me in a photo with that person when the time comes on one of my social media accounts but god willingly it <laughs> if I do decide to share it, you know what I'm saying? I just like some things to just be left out of everyday life pictures or everyday social media. I just don't feel like everything needs to be shared. That's just me. Just like, okay, when I go out with my family to dinner or to brunch or just shopping, when y'all see it, maybe a week or two later, I never post where I'm at at the time being. I never do that. So if I'm out in Forever 21 and I take a picture with my daughter, that doesn't mean that it just happened and it never does for me. That might have happened last week or a couple of days earlier i don't feel like i need to post it that day and i don't feel like i need to post it at that current time where i'm at you never know my location because for one you don't want people coming up on you and, and seeing you in public if you want your life to be private and if you're trying to enjoy your family but also you don't want nobody coming to rob your house either you know people post shit on the internet and they don't realize the shit that they be posting can get them fucking hurt can get them fucking killed and can get them fucking robbed okay and i don't feel like people need to know my every move that y'all is not my parents okay i'm a grown-ass woman what i share with y'all i do share but sometimes my share is like days and days later okay days and days later And I don't feel like people that don't share everything have anything to hide. So, Vix, maybe you really need to take into account other people's privacy and how other people were brought up. Now, there is an age gap between y'all, which is what, 45 and you're 33 or 32? Okay, so it's like 11 or 10 years, something like that, or 12 years, something like that. It's an age gap. So maybe the way you were brought up is way different from the way he was brought up, especially the age gap. That's your era. You're in your 30s. You may really enjoy it. Unlike people like myself, who's 50 and him 45, we don't really care too much about social media and things of that nature. You know, as he stated, he's a real estate broker and he makes a very good living without being posted up on social media. He has his website and I'm pretty sure his work is impeccable and probably speaks for itself and also word of mouth from one person to another is a definite way to get your business out there. Not everybody needs to promote their business online for it to get out there. Sometimes promoting your business online will definitely bring in weird people, strange people, people, customers that you really don't want to interact with. Trust me when I tell you I've had bad experiences with customers, okay? And I try to treat every one of my customers with dignity, with respect and especially treat me the same way I will treat you but then I do get some of those who will send me an email talking about well you know can you can you do a hundred and I'm gonna say say the wig was 150 well can you do the wig for 75 dollars because I don't have that much first of all it's a website you cannot go on nobody else's website and send them an email and ask them to lower the price for you so don't do that to me okay if you can't go in the grocery store and do that then bitch don't do that shit to me so sometimes promoting yourself on online or social media bring in weirdos bring in certain people that you really don't want to associate yourself with so i can definitely understand his gap in not fucking with
with the social media. But Vix, you really need to think a little bit more grown up versus childish, immature that you are. Because just because a person doesn't have social media does not mean that they are being sneaky. They have something to hide. They murderers, they serial killers, they serial cheaters or any of that. They just don't want it. Just because you like something doesn't mean someone else has to. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just my take on it. You know, what do y'all take on social media? Do y'all like social media? Do you do social media like that? Is it like your bread and butter? Do you feel like if you don't be on social media on a daily basis, you're missing out on something? Like, has it changed your life in any way, negative or positive? Like, you know, it could do both. And that's just my take on it. I don't really care for it like that. Like, I mean, it's great advertisement and it's a great way for you to get out there and promote your business. But I just really feel like that's all it's really good for. Like putting your relationship on social media is not always a plus because people really feel like those who share their lifestyle or their business with everybody live so much better than others that don't share. And that's a lie. I see so many dysfunctional couples on social media, even on YouTube, that it's like, y'all be sharing too much. But then sometimes you do need to share because you need to vent and I get that. And sometimes sharing is a great way to get information out there. Maybe it'll help others, which I also do get. But I'm not about to be one of those people that, oh my God, I gotta post it. I gotta post it, I gotta post it. I don't do that. Cause like I said, I got a lot of shit to do. I have things to do and I'm just not about to take all the time out of my everyday life and activities just to post pictures. Now, mind you, my daughter Mumsy's birthday was on the 16th of August, which was this past Friday. And I didn't post her picture on YouTube until Saturday. Okay. I didn't even bother to post it on Facebook or post it on Instagram because it just is what it is. I post it when I feel like posting it. Hey, Tati. I post it when I want to post it. And like I said, I don't post everything on each platform. Now, when I have like a wig sale, I definitely will post it on Facebook and I'll post it on um, Instagram. I don't post it on my community tab on YouTube and I don't post it on um, Twitter. I don't. Let me tell you about Twitter. I don't even know how that shit works anymore. Okay. I do have a Twitter account, but I don't know how that shit works. It'd be so confusing. I've been confusing me for years, so I don't even bother with it because it ain't really, it, I, I, it's just, this is confusing to me. So I don't even bother with it. Now, TikTok, like I said, it's, it's very overwhelming. It's just, you know, TikTok isn't overwhelming, but it's nothing but a QVC to me at this po point in time. Like all I'm seeing is people selling stuff. Now, like I said, I will post up a couple of videos every now and then on TikTok, but I don't even be on there like that. And I did, there was a time when I did want to go live on TikTok only to not be on the camera per se, my face, but just to have the camera aimed down and show myself making bracelets. So that way people would get to know my business. But I realized you cannot do TikTok live unless you have, I don't know, I think it's a thousand followers or something like that. So that was, I don't know what it was. It might not have been that. It was whatever it was. You Okay, you couldn't put your actual website link unless you had, I think like a thousand followers, something like that. So that kind of deterred me from even going on live because it was like, well, what's the sense when I can't even post a direct link? So certain things like that, you know, there's all these different policies and shit. I'm going to just stick with what I know, which is YouTube. And that's where I'm going to stay. <laughs> Understand it, Instagram. But um, yeah, I don't do social media every day. Um, I may post on YouTube every three times a week. And if that's what you want to consider a social media, but just because a person doesn't have social media does not mean that they're out there hiding anything. Okay. That might be the grown part of them that just doesn't care what the world thinks about them or what they have going on. And a lot of people don't need to be valid validated. So that's why a lot of people don't have social media because some people feel that they don't need to be on social media to be validated for their lives to be validated for the items that they purchase to be validated for their relationship to be validated or the money that they have to be validated. Some people just don't care about that and some people just like to live a simple life which I can totally agree to because mine is not simple but it's almost okay it's a basic life and I don't feel like my life is worthy enough to post everything every day and not even that my life is definitely worthy enough but I don't feel like I need to show it off to people on an everyday basis I just really don't feel that way I wish everybody to be a happy blissful life but do we always need to share it no, we don't. I'm not going to anyway. You know, so Vix, I feel like you need to mature a lot more um, because your way of thinking is not like the way of thinking for everyone. And maybe you are a little bit insecure about yourself or your relationships or your life. And maybe that's the reason why you feel like he's hiding something from you because maybe something in your past relationship was like that, but not everybody is the same. And just because a person doesn't have social media does not make them a bad person. 
Share your thoughts with Fix in the comments. We're going to move on to the second one, guys. Now, y'all see this week, um, I didn't put on eyeliner. Last week, I had on some eyeliner for the video, for the real talk, and I had on my wig because, you know, I wanted to look presentable for you guys. Look cutesy, um, mindful, and demure, like they be saying. But um, So, I mean, I still do look cutesy, but I just feel like, I don't know, I, I prefer my eyes, I don't know, without eyeliner now and I used to wear eyeliner every day and it was a thing but now I just don't like it I don't know what it is about the eyeliner but it just makes me look different and strange I don't know that might be because I'm so used to not wearing the eyeliner but yeah today look at me today I have on my pony well I don't have any ponytail on because I wanted to show y'all my little hang time okay but you know I think like I did a decent job on my lip liner Y'all let me know, okay? Y'all let me know. Because I'm working my way up to being like a professional lip liner. <laughs> you know, no, I'm just messing with y'all. So let's move on to the second um, email, okay? Real talk. She did not um, subject the name. I mean, she did not um, title it. Just real talk. Hi, um, Real Talk, Miss April, how are you? It's so good to see your Real Talks on Wednesday. Thank you so much for bringing them back. My name is Adana, 32 years old Hispanic woman. So, Miss April, there is this guy who lives in my apartment complex here in Los Angeles. I've been living here for six years now. As for him, I'm not really sure because I just started seeing him recently. He did say he's been living here for a little over two years, but I've only been seeing him for the past few months. Now, about seven months. He did say he used to work nights for a security company and then do online classes. So he's very rarely would be seen outside unless he was going to work or to the store. Well, he's been flirting with me heavily and I actually find it. I actually find him very interesting. He just graduated from medical school and was supporting his classes by working security jobs. So I'm very impressed and very interested in him. He doesn't live that close to me in the complex. There are four buildings in between us. So I figured that may be another reason why I haven't seen him around. I actually ran into him at the mailbox, and it seems we both go to the mailbox at the same time to get our mail. Not every day, but enough times out the week. So here's my thing. He lives alone, has no kids and no girlfriend, so he says. I'm really interested in him. He did ask me if I would like to go out with him to a movie on the lawn. There is this park out here that plays movies for free on the lawn once a month. They're really good old movies, no violent movies, just good old movies. Anyway, the park is about an hour or so drive, and I've always wanted to go, but the guy I was with last time, he wasn't into things like that. He was more or less a thug. I'm so interested in this guy in my complex, and I'm wondering if he's feeling the same way about me. Like I said, he's been flirting with me heavily, like saying how pretty I am, why am I single, he loved to take me out, if I ever need anything or help with anything around my place, let him know so that's when we exchange it numbers. I would love to go out with him, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous of what my homegirl will think because when I told her, she insisted on coming along on a double date. Miss April, her boyfriend is so hood like just annoying as hell and i wish i would never have told her because now i don't want to bring her along plus i really don't want to bring her along because she's so judgmental of men if they aren't all hood acting she thinks they are soft or something is wrong with them that is her mentality and honestly i do not want any more thugs i'm over that i don't know why i'm so worried of what she would think of him but i really wish i would have never told her i really feel like going without her and telling her about it later what would you do thank you okay what's her name adana adana is 32 how old was the other girl before this hold on Okay, the other girl was 33. So this one is 32. Adana. Adana. I like that name, Adana. If I'm saying it correctly, because it's a pretty name. Adana. So Adana is 32, lives in LA, Los Angeles. Okay. And she's been living in an apartment complex for six years and has met someone at the mailbox who claims he's claims he's been living there for two, but she's only been seeing him for seven months. Either way, girl. Adana, y'all got four buildings, like you said, in between y'all. So maybe you're not going to see him every day. And like he said, he hasn't been outside like that because he need, either goes to work at night 
or he's in the house during the day on his online classes. So dude was trying to perfect his life, girl, and, and that he has done because he lives, um, excuse me, he just graduated from medical school. Girl, okay? So she's very interested in him and likes him and wants to want she's wondering does he feel the same way about her girl if he's telling you you're pretty how he would like to take you out if you need anything or help around your place give him a call okay why are you single so obviously and you are saying yourself that he's flirting with you heavily so if you feel like he's flirting with you heavily by saying these things what are your doubts what are you nervous about you're nervous about bringing your friend along girl you ain't got to bring her let me tell you something she probably your friend was probably just curious as to how your date was going to go and maybe she just wanted to make sure you were safe so that's probably why she said let's go on a double date but here's my thing if you feel some type of way about her boyfriend and her coming along and embarrassing you on your your first date or your date out don't invite her you're going to be out on one of those lawn dates I, I i think those are so cute i've seen them in the movies before but they also do have it out here i don't know if they still do that out here but i did hear of it at a time where they would have like these movies in the park once a month out here too never been to one because girl i'm about to sit on nobody's floor i'm gonna need like a little lawn chair because my knees are not set up to be sitting down on the ground for too long because then I ain't gonna be able to get up but I will take me a nice little lawn chair but um I hear about these and I have seen them before in the movies and I think they're really cool you know what I'm saying I like the fact that like she said they don't they don't show violent movies which is great because there's some really great movies that don't have to be violent at all but they're free she said they give them once a month I don't know how often it was here because like I said I never was able to go but um they're free they give them once a month they give them once a month and that's also a really great way to get to know a person you know what I'm saying see what their interests are you see a lot of different people that are in the surrounding area of view watching the same movies so that way you get a, a, a good view on how this person is out in public how they re interact with other people you know what i'm saying and how their patient is with sitting outside a lot of people don't like to do things like that and that's okay because it's your preference but i think it's really really cool it's a great way to get to know each other you can also bring a blanket with some snacks you know that kind of make like a picnic date out of it while watching a movie but you're also surrounded by other people so that way you are being safe on the date so your friend really doesn't have too much to worry about you know what I mean now as far as for my friend what would I do I wouldn't take that bitch along and not to say that she's a bitch but she's very judgmental on people and if she feels like if they're not hood acting then there's something wrong with them then they're soft then girl that's not the type of environment you want to bring her in now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a hood dude there's nothing wrong with that if you want a man that's from the hood then that's okay now just because he's from the hood doesn't mean he has to act like that though either there's a way of going about it like oh yeah he was born and raised in the hood but he still lives in the hood but he's not that type of person he's not like one of those dudes to hang out on the streets sell drugs get drunk or do anything that's ratchet or out the norm or disrespectful he just lives in the hood because that's what he can afford for the time being but other than that he comes and goes and minds his business now that's okay but i wouldn't want to be involved with anybody that's a hood dude okay if he's acting hood so just like adonna said she doesn't want any more thugs and that's what her friend is used to and that's what she did have in her last relationship but she's over that girl that's cool because it is time to grow up now i'm be i'm gonna tell y'all a story of time or two i used to love the hood the thugs okay who did it i mean everybody love a rough neck all right but as you get older you mature more it's like you know what do i really want that type of person no i don't do i really want to be involved with that type of relationship no because not everything good comes with that and like she said she's over it now her friend she has a different mentality and that's okay because that's her friend she could do whatever she wants maybe that's what suits her well and that's what she's more comfortable with and that's okay but just because the person doesn't act like a thug does not mean that they're soft that may mean that they have a lot more going on for themselves a lot more maturity and a lot better mentality to where they can think for themselves and not allow the environment to bring them down and do shit that they ain't got no business doing you know what i'm saying but there was a time in my life where i loved a thug dude and i felt like if you didn't have a number like a jail number then you weren't really about that life but you know what that was my those were my younger days and you know that was just for me running through the running in the streets before i had kids or just you know being young-minded and stupid you know until i had to mature okay i mean i even married one all right let's just be for real but do i do i want that now hell no if you was to come to me and tell me that you've been in jail i would probably look at you like you out your mind and and be like okay next now who am i to be like you know so judgmental and picky like that because i've been in jail and okay and i've been arrested quite a few times but okay those are my dumb days not saying that i want to relive any of that in my past but it did allow me to better myself and know what type of person i am i don't be really trying to, to um commit no crime all right these days i don't 
I, I don't really want to commit no crime because I don't really want to go to jail. Okay. I don't, I, there's nothing to do in there. What am I going to do in jail? I said this to you guys a couple weeks ago. What am I going to do there? They're not going to, they're not going to give me no beads to make no bracelets or watch bands. They're not going to, they're not going to give me no wigs to do. I ain't going to have nothing to do. What am I going to record on? What am I going to do? I'm going to have like a little phone, little Android phone that's hidden and be doing videos on that sneaking. Y'all going to see my little bunkie and shit like that. That's not the type of life that I'm trying to live. So I definitely don't want to meet anybody that is like a thug or likes that mentality. What I would do, girl, is I wouldn't have never told my friend about the date. Or maybe I would have in conversation, but as far as her inviting herself, I would have told her no. That's what I would have told her. Like, no, girl, I'm going on this date by myself. Now, if she invited herself along, does she know the time and the date of when this happens if so then girl go somewhere else okay for that first day let her and her boyfriend go there and look for you and then y'all go somewhere else and then y'all do it the following month you know what i'm saying but i feel like you need to go without her you don't need nobody embarrassing you and what i would do is i would go without her and just like you stated you 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 want to go without her and then you should go without her you know explain to her later like listen i just felt like i needed to be alone to get to know this person when i feel like the time is right for you to get to meet him then i will do so but don't never feel embarrassed of your choices of who you pick or who you want to be with you're not there to make your friends happy and appease your friends this person is there for you and to make you happy and as long as they're respectable to you and do what you need and are respectable to your surroundings and your friends and family then you're not there to impress your friends and he's not there to impress your friends neither and never feel embarrassed or nervous about bringing someone around your friends because your friends need to realize they need to have boundaries too and they need to have respect at your choices whether he be a thug or not a thug okay that's your choices now if that's your home girl your bestie whatever you want to call her then she should be able to respect your boundaries and she should also be able to respect the fact that you are grown enough to be able to handle yourself out in a public space let her know you know what i'm saying if you if you choose not to tell her until after the date then that's okay and she should respect that she can't get mad because i wanted to go on a date with somebody that i just kind of like met and i don't want to drag you and your boyfriend along because like that kind of looks like childish i mean like for the first date yeah maybe like in a couple dates later you you know you introduce them to your friends and your friends man and that's how they get to meet each other but now on the first day y'all really get to know each other and girl stop acting acting like you don't know he's not interested he's interested in you this dude is interested in you if he's asking to take you out he's telling you you're pretty he's trying to figure out why you're single then he's feeling the same way too but i like the way that adonna put it she said i'm very interested in him and i like that because like you don't really hear people speaking like that of other of like another person that they really want to get to know like yeah i want to get to know him okay that's another good way of putting it but she's saying i'm very interested in him so that means like she's interested in what he's doing what he's up to his surroundings you know what i'm saying like i appreciate that and if you are interested in him girl then go ahead and shoot your shot and have a good time on your day don't drag your friend along because that is your day and this is the time that you get to see how he interacts with other people outside in public i think like that first date is really cool you know what i'm saying like a lot of people don't like to go out and do things like that some people just like to go to restaurants which is nothing wrong with that girl as long as i'm eating then i'm good okay i love a good eatery place i don't even have to be expensive i'm not one of those type of people that be like well you can't take me to um cheesecake factory because cheesecake factory is fucking not cheap okay or um applebee's or something like that as long as the food is decent then i'm down with it you could take me to burger king i like burger king too because it's food okay as long as we just having a good time i don't really think like a date should be based on the amount of money being spent you know what i'm saying i just feel like this is when y'all get to know one another and we could be walking through the park and having hot dogs from the vendor the street guy it's all good we getting to know one another so i don't i don't i've never like been a person like well if you don't take me here then i'm not going out with you because a lot of people will be like well i want to go to red lobsters and if you don't take girl red lobsters is like going to burger king like they are the same price threshold so you're really not you know what i'm saying you're not really getting nothing different but some lobster that's probably been frozen okay because i don't even see them little lobsters swimming around on the water like they used to years ago anymore so you don't really know what you get so i'm gonna just take you know i'm gonna just take whatever restaurant we go to and i'm, and I'm going to make the best of it that's that's what it is okay but I really think like you'll enjoy yourself with just going out with him and getting to know him and then you tell your friend afterwards that's what i would do i wouldn't even invited my friend anyway i would have definitely told her about it but if she would invite her herself i would have let her know this is not a date for you this is a date for me and i do apologize if you take it any type of way but i don't want you or your boyfriend coming along okay 
So nobody want nobody stuck boyfriend coming along on a date with them when they're trying to get to know the person themselves. And if y'all meeting up at the mailbox um certain times of the day or throughout the week, then girl, shoot your shot and be at ease and go along with the date because he is feeling the same way. Yes, he's interested in you too. If he's not interested, then girl, let me know because I'll come down there or wherever you're at and knock him upside his head, okay? Los Angeles is not that far from me, okay? So just let me know, all right? I'll kind of put him up in a yoke code. Let me mess with my, my freaking YouTube sisters and family, okay? But I really think that he is interested in you and have, go on a date and have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And especially if that's somewhere that you have wanted to do before but never got the opportunity, well, it's always nice to meet someone that does do like to do the same things as you do. That's always a plus. And so I commend you on that. Enjoy yourself. Girl, get you a nice little blanket, make a picnic of it, and have a great date. And have, you know, have a good time. But, you know, let Adana know what you would do in the box down below. Y'all already know your girl's got to go. I'm going to get me something to eat because I'm starving. My stomach is growling up here talking with you guys y'all know i will starve myself for y'all okay i do it every every week but i'm gonna go get something to eat right now but i love you guys i hope y'all stay diva and devolicious and safe i will definitely see you guys in the comments and on that note i love you stay diva and devolicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up share it make sure you like the video you know what i'm saying put your comments down below of how you would handle each situation and on that i'll see y'all in the next one